I had to bring in a new video here that has a lot of colors so we can work on the qualifier 3D. Now, basically, the qualifier 3D has a different concept from the SSL and RGB in the way you do your qualification for the colors or the selection of the colors. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a video where you want to select the blue and the red. Well, in this case, you can make your graph just like this here, the bar. And let's move it over here. Whatever you turn this bar around, it really doesn't matter. You're going to go through other colors. You're going to select the blue and to select the red. You will have to select the yellow and the green and the cyan. Quite a problem. Look at your mat over here. It almost selected everything. So in HSL and in RGB, you're always selecting a range. You are not selecting a color. When you go to the 3D qualifier, you have the possibility to select selected colors if you like. You have the option to show a path, meaning you are going to draw certain path from which you are going to pick or qualify the colors. You have two modes, the YUV and the HSL color modes. You can experiment which one works better for any video you're working with. And you have the softness. The way you select colors here is by clicking on the picker. You can always click on the plus over here. It will work in this case. And then make sure that the highlights are off so you can see the path you are drawing. And I'm going to select something just like this over here. Okay. Go back to the highlights. And you will notice that it has selected the colors that were in your path here and some other colors that will match. In the qualifier, there is a plus with a color and you have the RGB for this color. So you notice this color has a lot of blue, 159 of green, and the red is 110. So this is the path for the first selection. Let's remove the highlights, and let's take another pass now. You can use the plus or the picker, it will work. And let's take, for example, the red. I'm gonna do something like this. You notice I'm doing it on the apple, okay? Now I added so much, and now, if you go to your highlights, two colors have been selected and they are not continuous. You notice, selected red and blue. I'll go back to 3D. So here I have blue and red. There are two paths now. And you notice the plus sign. It means these are added. So actually, we took a lot of colors here. We could delete this path and go back and draw another path. For example, this one over here. Okay, for the red. Actually, this is what we want. Now, we have a different path and different colors. We go back to the highlights. Okay, this selection is much better. So, this is the way. You keep on adding path until you get the result that you want. Independent if the colors are next to each other according to the color wheel. Let's say you want to add green now. For example, I will add green just for the sake of the example. Okay, look at my mat and here you are green has been added and you have the path being added if you take for example a negative and decide that you don't want the floor over here you can draw over it okay we'll see the path now and then remove the highlights it's a red path meaning it is minus you are removing it from your color selection though it didn't remove much but it gives you the point you can take another minus for example and remove let me see this area over here. You say this one, I don't want. So it has added a negative path, meaning I'm removing from there. If you look at it now, didn't do much, but you get my point. So this is the concept of 3D qualifier. You're just creating some path from which you can select the colors that you want or the colors that you don't want. Now, all the time, try to go from HSL to YUV and see exactly the results, if you like them or not. It's actually very powerful, but I needed to give you some examples that are demonstrative of what I'm doing and not like we are working something serious. Because in the next lecture, we are going to try to use the 3D qualifier to remove colors from a green screen. That will be a bit practical. Thank you. I will see you in the next lecture.